Are you a big Mortal Kombat fan? Well, guess what? They have created a new Mortal Kombat where Emperor Shao Kahn has defeated Raiden and his allies. Raiden has a chance to save Earth Realm, but to do so, Raiden has to face Shao Kahn. Raiden shall go to the past where Shao Kahn is most vulnerable. In this new Mortal Kombat, which has all new graphics than ever before, you can play tag teams and go into the deepest story mode of any fighting game. You can also play online and up to four players can play battle at a tag team. This game was released on April 19, 2011. The cost of this game is $59.99. This game is available for the following, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So don't be left out and get your Mortal Kombat. Hi, I'm Carla. And I'm Angelica. We're here to get you all caught up with the newest inventions in fashion and technology. Ranging from clothing to any other devices, we have it all. For example, the story that we have for you today is the Wi-Fi shirt. Have you ever heard of a shirt that tells you if there's Wi-Fi or how much? Well, Think Geek came up with a shirt that does. If you like having all the attention on you, then this is the shirt for you. It displays how much Wi-Fi strength there is around you. It runs for three hours on triple A batteries, and it's also removable for easy washes. The cost is only $14.99. You can find this and many more interesting stuff on thinkgeek.com. Hi guys, we're here at the American Banjo Museum, where you can learn the history about the banjo. American Banjo Museum, we opened in September of 2009. It originally started in Guthrie as the National Four String Hall of Fame. I had a very small space in Guthrie and about 60 banjos in the collection that uh, the museum actually purchased. Most of the banjos here, a collection of 200 that they purchased. Now the entire collection is valued about three and a half million. We are open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 6, and then Sunday noon to 5. Most Saturdays from 3 to 5, we do have performances for those that are visiting the museum. Resca Flats was just here. Part of their staging crew came over here and went through the museum. Uh, we've had the drummer of Twisted Sisters was over here and visited the museum while they were on tour. So we've had a lot of different artists that when they're in Oklahoma City doing concerts come and visit the museum too. There are no other banjos museum in the world dedicated just to the banjo. We are the only facility anywhere that showcases just banjos. I think my favorite banjo changes every week because um, every time I walk through here I see something different on one of them. Um, I like the carousel banjo that's upstairs, I think just because that's always been a childhood favorite of mine is riding carousels, but I also like the Big Chief that's here on the first floor. The museum is a nonprofit organization and everything in here belongs to the museum. The look of them was as important as the sound because it was all live performances. And you won't find the ornate, the inlay, the carvings, the mother of pearl, the jewels on them that are manufactured today. Well, that's a wrap for today. Now you know where you can come on your weekends, on your spare time, and have some fun with your friends. I think it's time to introduce our new fitness and health segment today, as well as our new location, Central Fit Gym, here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Today I'm speaking with Michael, the gym owner, and we're going to talk about his gym, his experience in personal training, and some of his favorite workout routines. 
So let's get started. I guess you all are ready. What sets Central Fit aside from other gyms is the education level. I only hire trainers that have at least a bachelor's degree in exercise science. Uh, they have to have the certification. We also carry all the liability insurances which are required. And our dietitian has an advanced master's degree in human nutrition um, from Eastern Michigan University. She's a registered dietitian and a licensed dietitian. What started me in personal training was a bad car accident. I went back to school at age 29, and I graduated from UCO when I was 33 with my bachelor's degree. What kind of results uh, my clients get are based on science. When I lay out an exercise program, and then Stacy, the dietitian, lays out the diet, we get phenomenal results. One was an MMA fighter that came to us, and he was 177 pounds, five foot eight, and he was 25% body fat. And I started working with him. I wrote him two separate programs. One was a lifting program to make him stronger, and the other one was sports specific. And then Stacy wrote a great sports nutrition diet for him that gave him the proper amount of calories, the proper nutrients, the proper fat, the proper carbs, the proper everything. When he was done, he still weighed 177, but he was 8% body fat. All right, everybody, that's it for today's show. Look forward to seeing future episodes at Central Fit. If you have any questions about the gym, please visit centralfit.com. Also, visit our website, aztectv.com, and our podcast on iTunes. You can also see us on YouTube. You all have a good day. Yeah.